I think the Do the Right Thing program is great because it helps the youth explore youth violence and its effects. When I write about youth violence, I feel somewhat personal because I've had a bit of experience with it. Like it's like socially harder for me to like fit in with everybody having autism, like with me having autism and like, it, it, like sometimes I get nervous talking to people that's like right now with my <laughs> stuttering and all that. <laughs> In my essay, when I said that I was molested, it that was something that I obviously didn't really want to go into detail. I felt disgusted with myself, so I just kind of laid there crying. I couldn't do anything. And I mean, that is basically something that has taken a big toll on my life. As an Asian, I experienced a lot of stereotypes. So that's sort of like negative, because it's like, oh, you're good at math, do my homework. Um, and I just don't really feel very good about that. And then like, with stereotyping, it's very negative to the person because they expect so much out of you because of your race and color of your skin. And it just really affects me. Like sometimes I'll try and point out to certain people, like, "Hey, you probably shouldn't be stereotyping because not all Asians are smart. They're not all like super good at math or anything, and not all of them are are all about education and stuff." I was hurt with gunshots, and I ran, and I found out it was my boy on the floor. He was just, he was just bleeding. He was just on the floor crying. He was like, bro, I'm finna die. I told him, don't say that. And three days later, they called, say he's dead. People would call me a filthy Jew, and it made me feel bad about myself. I honestly wanted to kill myself so bad, because I thought it was never going to get better. And, <laughs> and it's just, I just look back and I'm thinking, like, why would I ever feel like doing that? And thinking, I remember how low I felt and how I thought, like, it was never going to get better. So, I don't want to cry. <laughs> Do the right thing. This year, over 27,000 students in Palm Beach County took the challenge to express their thoughts and feelings. These 10 finalists personally experienced violence that changed their lives. Their stories include stereotyping, racism, death, bullying, mental abuse, and physical harm. Oftentimes, we think of youth violence as just physical, but the scars of bullying and emotional abuse can last a lifetime. Do the Right Thing is not a competition. Students are challenged to examine the impact of violence in their lives through classroom discussions and a written response to these three simple questions. How has violence affected your life? What causes youth violence? What can you do about it? We celebrate all the teachers, students, parents, and supporters of Do the Right Thing. We honor the ambassadors of our district, one girl and one boy, who will visit Washington, D.C. this summer and join students from across America in the national recognition events. The film you are watching was created by the students of the West Palm Beach Youth Empowerment Center to display the incredible strength of these 10 students. By sharing their stories, they rise above individual challenges and inspire us to change. I've been bullied ever since I was in second grade and tormented up until 7th. My dad or whoever was there, my dad or my grandmother, uh, they would beat me with a belt. It was traumatizing and it caused uh, uh, autoimmune disease caused, called uh, alopecia, which makes your hair fall out. When I was a child, I would watch my mother get beaten basically every day. It made me a very violent person myself, and it made me hate most 
adult men at the time, and I hated anyone that, that she brought into the house. And it just, it threw me off. It made me a very bad person. When I was in second grade, when I got glasses, a lot of people laughed at me, and they called me gay and retarded, and they tried to beat me up and all that every day when I went on the bus, so when I got in the classroom. It made me feel really bad about myself, and there was nobody who tried to stand up for me. And even when I told the principal and all that, nobody did anything. I'd like people to know who have heard my story that there is a way to get through this through perseverance. We have to substitute love, caring, and compassion instead of violence. Everyone's different in their own amazing way, and I mean by that is because they, they have all their own different personalities and whatever else and it would be really boring if everybody else had like the same personality, like the same thing, looked the same way. And it's all amazing that we all had our different qualities that make ourselves a, a, who we are. Am I really that different than you? Is being different a crime or something we should embrace in each other? Even though my mother went to jail, my father went to jail, but at different times, it's shown me that she she came from jail and she became a totally different person, showing us that it's not right to be violent. You can handle things better. The saying, sticks and stones may break your bones, it, it's, not, it's not true. Words do hurt. I can stop youth violence by becoming a positive role model to, uh, to kids younger than I am. Is there a true story in your life that needs to be told? Everyone can make a difference Everyone can do the right thing. I've been through a bunch, and looking at the person I am today, I hope that people will look at me and just get a feeling of, she did it, so can I.